Throughout this short series of videos on Adobe's mobile apps, we've talked a lot about how files are exchanged across devices and between mobile apps. Now what I'd like to do is demonstrate how some of those apps can send files to the desktop. So if you have Photoshop CC, Illustrator CC, InDesign CC, or even Premiere and After Effects, there's a tight integration with the desktop. I want to show you a couple of the most popular workflows. Let's take a quick look. So starting here in Photoshop CC, the first thing that we see is an image that we created in Photoshop Mix. Again, Mix is the tool for making big, beautiful composites from multiple images, and that's what we have here. So if I select the texture from our layer, we see that we have the blend mode just as we sent it over. We can toggle that off or on. We've got our mask. All of our images and all of our content can be reordered, edited, and if we look at the bottom here, we see that that's a 65 meg file. It's a full resolution file. I haven't lost anything in terms of fidelity. Okay, next let's look at the image from Photoshop Fix. This was the image that we retouched on the iPad Pro in Photoshop Fix, and what we notice here is that all of the layers have come across, and they're all labeled individually. If I want to look at the mask of the individual uh, saturated or desaturated area, I can do that. If I want to further adjust those, I double click and I'm presented with a hue sat adjustment layer. So what's really great here is we hand the file from fix to Photoshop and we're given prescriptive edits. We're given steps that are clearly labeled that tell us just what to do from here. Uh, as before, full resolution file, each masked, labeled, and layered. Okay, let's create a new document and look at some of the library content that we created with Adobe Capture. And the first thing that we notice is that we have all of our various color themes. I can click on any individual value and we'll select that color. If I scroll down a little further, we can grab those vector shapes that we created. Here's the burlap one. Maybe I want to rotate that, rescale it. Because that's a vector, I can infinitely rescale it with no problem whatsoever. And we could use that in combination with any of those colors that we've captured as well. Now, of course, I could turn off any of the layers and choose any different vector and drag that on. So that shows you just a little bit of what you can do with the libraries and the Capture app. Of course, that content would also be available throughout the other mobile apps. Okay, moving over to InDesign, we see the file that we sent over from Comp. I could grab any individual piece of this. I could move it around. All of the fonts, all of the colors, everything is completely editable here. So let's grab our text tool. Maybe we wanted to change the font or the spacing. That's no problem because all of those various pieces have come over here as well. And as with Photoshop, I have my libraries panel where all of those colors and vector shapes are right there as well. I can use those uh, in any of those various apps on the desktop. So that gives you a quick glimpse of just some of what we're doing in terms of integrating with the desktop. Now, if you're not currently using the desktop apps or maybe yours isn't up to date, keep in mind that anyone can pull down a free 30-day trial and try out any of the desktop applications.